Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make your own virtual dice. To begin, let's import the random module. So this random module will be used to make a random integer. This random integer uh, will be what our program will output as the uh, result. Now. Uh, let's make our program have a nice welcome by making some ASCII art. So write three, uh, three double quotes like this. And then you just copy and paste in your ASCII code. This is just for text and a nice look. Let's see. Yes, this is how it will look. So now what should we do? We have to now make a variable called dice amount. Dice amount equals to int input welcome to the dice roller. How many dice do you want to roll? Make sure there's a space so that when you when the user gives in the input, then it has a space between the question mark. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one and let's make another variable called dice rolls. Now we're going to make this into an array. To make arrays in Python, we need to put two square brackets like so. And this means that uh, this variable is now an array. An array can store multiple items of the same data type. Now, let's make let's make a loop uh, because we are going to be putting this all in a while loop which will ask the user that do you want to continue rolling or do you not want to continue rolling so let's first make our loop variable loop equals to true now let's move on to the while loop while loop is true put these col uh, put these colons these colons mean that uh, mean that this is declared to be a loop now let's write a for loop in this for i in range dice amount so we again we declare this as a loop and then so this i in range so this means it will loop through a number. So like, say when we have, let me put a comment here. Comments you can write with hashtags. So like, if you want to say in a dice amount. So if we want to go from one to 10, we want to loop. So what the computer will do? Computer will say, okay, so I'll first I'll look at one, then I'll look at two, then I'll look at three. and so on until 10 it will keep on looking or in the case of an array uh, in the case of an array then it does uh, in the case of an array it loops through each item so like if there's say apple and banana in say the array let me write it down so apple banana say this was in the array instead now what would happen it will loop to say it will first give the output of apple and then we'll give the output of banana so this is a way you can explain for loops 
Anyways, let's move on to the next part, which is dice rolls. So that's our array, remember? Dot append. Random dot randint. Random int means random integer. That means whole numbers, basically. 1 to 6, because a dice is always from 1 to 6. And then we need to make another for loop for l in dice rows declare that then say if l equal to equal to 1 so this is basically saying that in the dice rolls that's the array it's looping through each item so out of the items it got so say we inputted 1 into it what would happen if we input 1 then there will be the uh, there will be one random integer which will be in here so if that random integer is equal to 1 then do something if that random equal, uh, integer will be equal to 2 do something random integer is equal to 3 do something and so on so let's begin making this print so i like to use f strings because I find them easier and simpler to write. So you just write an F behind the double quotes and then you say you rolled A and then to say a variable in between you write two curly brackets and you write the name of the variable or item in between. And so this is how you can just in a string write in a very simple way a variable without uh, too much trouble like adding plus signs and other strings so let's actually after making it until 6 let's try it and see what will happen so just to add a little bit of uh, functionality and graphics I'm going to add another bit of ASCII art so this ASCII art will uh, be about uh, will have the one we need to end this okay right so let's so this is our first one let's just copy this out so this will just make it very fast what to do keep on copying keep on pasting so now we have l equals to 1 now make that l equals to 2 you rolled a something number that l will be equal to 2 because this function is uh, this loop is running uh, uh, I mean this condition is running and we are, let's make this into a 2 so how do we do that so ASCII art it's pretty simple to turn things from one to another so actually let's keep that let's keep that uh, those two brackets there which are representing a dot just to as a reference point so this is this would actually be the 3 in this whole thing, but we are going to use it for the 2 for now. Then let's make another one of these. Copying the full thing and pasting the full thing. Now L equals to 2. Now make that into L equals to 3. Add that same bracket in the middle. So basically, the definition of ASCII art is basically text which is written with uh, the symbols on a keyboard. Uh, well, an image you can say that is written. Then let's make a fourth one. Four, number four here. Let's write. And let's just put it on the same lines. What's this.
and so that's how we do it. So that's four. Now let's just keep going. Make that five. Go into the middle. And that. Now we have a five. And now we will have a six. All we now need to do is just to leave this bit in the middle, add the bits out to the sides, add the other bit to the side, and so there we go. So we have written our uh, our uh, conditions from one to six. And this is each one of these will display each time. Now, let's just run this at the moment. Let's just say one dice we want to roll. It's going to keep on doing this forever, which is not what we want. Okay, so let's just stop this program for a second because this will be bad. Right, so now let's uh, let's make the ending of this because since this thing is in a while loop, it will continue forever, and this could cause a forever loop. This is not a good thing, as it could cause your computer to crash. Now let's fix this. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. So let's. In fact, rather than writing ifs, let's make it elif as well. That makes it one singular rather than many multiple ones. Five, elif, four, elif, three, elif, two. And there we go until the if at one so this is all one big huge if now let's begin writing the check the check is the input which we are asking from the user which is do you want to roll again so this is basically what will be stopping this while loop and the reason why i put this while loop Yes or no. Right, so now let's see what should we do. So we should be first actually putting a space there. And then we should be asking if the check is equal to equal to. That means that if it is uh, if it is yes, you don't write a singular equal to as that is not correct. Or check equal to equal to yes so you might be wondering why I wrote two times the yes because in case you say don't do the capital case then uh, in the y so it won't give you an error or give you a wrong output so let's just now say loop equals to true dice rolls equals to so we're clearing out the array again because otherwise they'll keep on adding uh, the the array will keep on increasing in size and if the array increases in size the output will also increase in size which is not what we want we want to keep it at the same number that the user wanted so now let's keep going so dice rolls equals this now print this is just to separate it from the next round which they, we are doing. Just a long line of dashes. Else, loop, as you may expect, loop is equal to false. The dice rolls equals to brackets, square brackets, and print.
ended. Yep, like that. So now we let's just make it to the center a little. Yeah, about that. Yep. So let's now just try our program. Let's see, does it work or does it not? Okay, so it's giving us an error. Invalid syntax. Okay, I must have missed the colon at the start. No, I did not. Okay, let's see. If check yes or... Ah, it's this line. Ah, yes, I missed the colon. This is the reason why it's not... I didn't declare it. So you can see what can happen if you don't go declare it. So how many dice do we want to roll? Let's start with something simple. One. You roll the six. So that was lucky. Do you want to roll again? Yes. You roll the one. Do you want to go roll again? Let's say yes. We roll the two. Now if we say no, we end it. So this works perfectly well with one. Now you can try going up. So let's say two. You roll the five and we roll the three. Okay, yes, we want to roll again. We roll a 3 and a 1. Do we want to go again? Yes. A 5 and a 5. So yeah, as you can see, this is completely random. And the moment you say no, it ends. Now just to check that we have written that that OR here works. Let's just say something like 3. So it gave us 3 numbers. 5, 3 and 4. Okay, so do we want to roll again? Let's write with lowercase y. Yes. It works so this shows that it's saying you can either write big Y yes or small Y yes and anything other than that if you write it will go into this false and end the whole thing so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye